Hey you guys. In this video, I am going to be tapping, scratching and kind of crinkly sounds with this plastic wrap as well as this foam, kind of styrofoam base. So this is a custom video from Amanda. Thank you so much, Amanda. The idea for her custom video came from this particular item being in a previous grocery haul. <laughs> it happened to be this giant <laughs> pack of cheese. So I had cheese <laughs> in the same packaging in that video. And actually lots of you guys commented on the sounds that it made the packaging. So when I got the custom request, I was excited because I know a lot of you really liked the sounds of this. It doesn't look great, but it certainly sounds good. So we're going to be doing lots of sounds of everything that this is made up of. And it was perfect timing when I received this custom video request because I had just purchased another pack of this Irish cheddar cheese. It's a white cheddar. It's delicious. I get slices of it. And they place these kind of like wax papers between the slices. So that they don't all stick to each other. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much Amanda. I've been trying to get some of your custom videos out you guys that some of you requested them some time ago and with the trip to the US and the chaos that ensued after <laughs> it's taken me a bit of time so thank you for those of you who have been patient sometimes there are items that are requested for custom videos that take me some time to get, you know? and one of them that I am working on is a custom video getting hardback books. I was supposed to film this when I was in the US because the place I stayed had lots of hardback books. But the last three days there became um, quite difficult to get things done that I had planned on trying to get done. But this one, to be honest, this one just, whew, I was so busy on this trip. I completely forgot that I needed to to film there. I needed to film there because I had the the books available to me. And I don't have um, hardback books available to me in Egypt. That they're, they're here. They're just they're quite expensive. Um, and I want like you know a handful in the video. So I'm going to be asking some friends. <laughs> For those. I'm just going to kind of like tip, tip this over a bit so you can see the top there's um, indents here with different things written. It looks like uh, EXP dash NIA 1004968 whatever that means. P A L 14 Okay, let's pull this back up. I'm gonna pull it quite tight. This part kind of ripped a bit, it's kind of hard to keep it. 
with that, you know, keep it uh, nice without ripping. But I'm doing my best. There we go. Mm, it's nice. A lot of things are packaged like this when you purchase them in like a deli or bakery. Uh, sometimes even fruits and vegetables come packaged like this in Egypt. these kind of large spools of plastic wrap and when you order any meats or cheeses in the deli sections they'll pop them on a tray like this and wrap it up like that This is sort of reminding me of my video where I just had like a giant cabbage. I did a whole ASMR video with just that giant cabbage. But it made such good sounds. It was sick. It's a very good muse, if you will. But yeah, people were like in the comments, it was so funny. It's like, I can't believe I'm falling asleep to a woman <laughs> tapping on a cabbage. What's happened to my life? In your life, I'm the one tapping on the cabbage. <laughs> no, I love it. I think it's hilarious and great fun. It's so good. see that all over the place in Egypt, at least where I've been. <laughs> I see them often, different parts of Cairo and Giza. We've got a really, uh, a really nice um, hummus that I like. And you can get like cheeses like this anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be at this particular store. store. <laughs> it's right next to um, the gym that I go to so it, it's very convenient for me to stop there um, and it, I don't know it's like I like the vibe the vibe <laughs> I like the mood in the store like you know how some stores you just like enjoy walking through it's kind of like my version of Trader Joe's in Egypt gourmet foods like everything's kind of like packaged quite beautifully and they've got kind of nice designs I don't know it's just aesthetically pleasing to the eye I guess you could say when you walk through there I want to give some of the squeaky scratching but like not overwhelm you by it with it but yeah I really enjoy just being in the store kind of like Target you know like at Target you go and you just like enjoy walking around. It's like super relaxing and enjoyable because the atmosphere is like nice. The other thing that I like, in fact, the cheese, the, cheese, the, the videos 
built off of this, this container. It's from this video, like I said, it's a haul for a grocery haul from that store. And um, if I look at some of the other products that I, I like from that store, one of them is this, um, I think it's a raspberry lemon. Is it raspberry lemon? I think raspberry lemon. It's a, it's a drink and it's just natural raspberry lemon. There's nothing else added but uh, I believe a tea, tea, teaspoon, a tablespoon of honey. Warning, warning to you. I'm going to do some squeaky scratching, okay? White cheddar cheese, purchased June 12, 2022, and it was 259 pounds. It's actually quite expensive, um, but there's a lot more when I purchased it. I've eaten some. So yeah, that's that's like maybe thirteen US dollars, and it was it kind of goes deep. I get I get one kilo, <laughs> one kilo of sliced cheese because that's how much I eat it. So it's quite a bit of cheese, but it's a nice nice one. I wanted to flip it over again. really soft right here in the middle. this up so that we can kind of make some more sounds with that. And use this plastic wrap to cover the cheese. See? That's the kind of waxy paper that goes between the pieces of cheese. this over here. I feel like I'm wrapping like a baby, like I'm swaddling a baby. I didn't know this but, so my friend that I've mentioned many times, she lives in France now, 
She's the one with the twin boys who I used to tell stories about all the time. I love them. I, I want to eat them. They're so cute. They're so cute. Have I told you guys this? I haven't gotten to talk, tell you guys a story about them for a while. So, okay, quickly. So, they grew up in the US. Their mom is half French, half American. And their dad's American. And then they moved to France when they were three and lived there for a year. So they're four years old now. You guys uh, heard stories about them when they were two. Oh, they're so cute. They were in like lots of the bloopers from a couple years ago. I tried to do bloopers once a year now. Like, I, I guess I'm doing them at like around New Year's Eve. I don't know how that started happening. But anyway, okay. Whew, whew, tangents. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> okay. Swaddling like a baby. Okay, yeah, got it. So these guys are now in France in school, okay? And it's sort of hilarious because we can't we can't figure this out. But for some reason they are doing some kind of like a British British accent while they're in school in France. So the parents don't speak with a British accent. They don't even speak that much French at home, but they're speaking French in school and they're coming home with a British accent in English. Does that make sense? Of course it doesn't. So, <laughs> when they speak, they have this thing where like they're speaking sort of like, it's like this blend of, of of sounds that like only could come from little American nuggets living in France and okay my only my only theory is it's it's not exactly a British accent okay it's that it sounds a bit like it when you hear them speak because at the end of like sentences they do this really particular thing and they both do it the same way neither of the parents sound like this <laughs> none of their teachers sound like this the teachers are speaking French, their family is speaking English, and they as twins have come up with this, this their own language, their own sound system that kind of seems like a combination. Like, my best guess, I'm, I'm probably wrong because I'm, I'm wrong very often in life, but I, I think it's possible that they're speaking English with a French intonation at home. And it comes off sounding a bit like a British accent, a British English accent. Beats me. So it's adorable. They walk around in their home. The parents sound completely American. And when their mom speaks in French, she sounds completely French because she's fluent both ways. But when they're in school, it's all French. And they sound British. So I did have I did have some friends when I lived in India. Their mom was American. Their dad was fully from India, Indian. And they were brother and sister. And they also had this accent that was unique to them only. And it was you can't put your finger on it like they've made it up like it it's a combination of things that they hear on a regular basis that those two hear and communicate in and neither their parents nor teachers are in both of their worlds so they end up having their own sound they weren't twins but siblings around the same age going to school in the same language and coming home and, and primarily speaking English with their mum and possibly I'm guessing from where they lived maybe a language called Telugu which is what was spoken in the area that I lived maybe some Hindi so Forgive me if I started a story and didn't finish it just now. I think I finished all the stories I started, but it's hard to say. Hard to say.
Let's see if we can kind of take the nails. into the styrofoam a bit. I don't know which what is weirder you guys is the cabbage video weirder or this one it doesn't matter all ASMR is like you know generally kind of baseline weird and I, I think it's great Minx Laura one of my favorite ASMR channels her like motto what is it weird is good <laughs> again to Amanda. Thank you very much for requesting this custom video. It really does, uh, it makes a difference for the channel. Thank you guys for that and I know everyone's always thankful when people do custom videos and it's, you guys are really cool and always thank, thank people so thanks for doing that. Um, we, we just, we thank you Amanda and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day or night. Thank you.